we are here for the grand final between UB and IG. From that really long pull, so SCC is going to have to play a little bit of backup and Fenrir. Yeah, he's in trouble. Dogfights with the nice rotation and Emo with the Jingu Mastery proc makes it very easy for him. Because she's the one that's going to be setting that momentum. She's the one that's going to be active on that map. You're not going to be relying on a Nagus Arrington early. Active early on, it's just not the nature of this hero. And SCC again, just not having that great start. I mean, you know, it's not a bad start. It's just not as good as the aliens. They found Emo, but they won't be able to claim the kill quite yet. Nightmare was there, though they will eventually find it. But now the turnaround, Dogfights with the Rolling Thunder, the Fiend's Grip, and the Mana Void getting YG at the end. They will also find Fenry, though Oli falling low. But no, SCCC couldn't finish him off. The Doom was there from JT, and they'll claim the TA as well. Awen trying to make a run for it, but he is definitely going to be the fourth death, it looks like. He has the Surge, but it's not really available quite yet. It does come off cooldown, but he doesn't even bother. Well, they're going to try and go in now, but Oli is in prime position to turn any kind of engagement around. They get a glimpse off onto Dogfights, and Dogfights should just be dead, but they're going to go for a fight. Emo, he'll pop the Wukong's command. Not the greatest of commands, though. With that Blink Dagger, he can gap close a bit safer, and he can jump certain heroes and very least pick off the supports. They're almost taking... In fact, they do doodle. He goes down to the Naga, and now Gia Gia commits the song. Thinking about going back in. Is he going to do so, though? Yeah, Dogfights gets Barra striked up. Gia Gia will be there. Has the Incinera available finally. He will run in with the Illusions. And Dogfights cannot do anything about that. Now JT getting caught out. There's the Glimpse Static Storm. And Kinetic Field being thrown out as well. And Newbie just out of nowhere, John. How... There is a smoke coming out from the Radiant side though. They want to go for a big team fight right here, right now. Of course, that surprise Desolator on SCCC. Really going to help the cause. Butterfly as well, being finished up on Gia Gia. He's just going to take the mid-tier 2 tower by himself. Meanwhile, Emo gets caught out under the tier 2 tower and cannot sustain the damage from SCCC. Can they find any more? It may not even matter. I mean, Gia Gia has found the tier 2 tower by himself. And why G? A blind burrow strike on JT. He will end up finding him. Meanwhile, Static Storm is there on dogfights. They're just trapping everybody up. Dogfights will swashbuckle, but it will not help the cause. He gets vacuum back. Now JT, he does dodge a Baron Strike, but gets purged up by Gia Gia, which means he is definitely dead. Another three heroes going down for the side of IG. Stannis, while this, before this team fight begins, if it ever does, it looks like there is a split push going on from Doodle up the top lane, so maybe he doesn't join in. There is a loop round from IG ready to punish. But they are going to allow this Rax to go down before they actually get involved, it seems. Rolling Thunder is there in the back lines. Oh, JT, going to be all right. Meanwhile, Fenry, a nice Static Storm onto Dogfights, and he is now dead. Ollie also lost his life. Now, well, Dogfights, yeah, you're gone. They do end up getting Awen on the Dark Sea, but Doodle, he gets Burrow Striked up. YG sets it up for the team, though. No, the Blink will be there in time. Now, Dogfights will buy back on the Pango. I don't see them saving JT in this situation. Mana Void comes out, but it is not enough damage. JT, he will end up losing his life very easily. One of those things, you've got the Song, you've got the Disruptor. It's just such an easy kill on the AM if you do catch him out like that. He has not opted for a BKB. He is going for it now, but it might be too late. And now JT, he'll get started with the Barra Strike from YG. He is dead. Rolling Thunder from Dogfights comes out. There will be a buyback. They're going to fight this. Emo, though, not able to lock down the SK. Now they do, but he Barra Strikes out on the back wall. Is there from A1. Gia Gia jumps in onto JT. This is not a team fight Newbie wants to take. They are going to take it regardless. They've got no choice in the matter. They'll lose dogfights. It's a dieback on him. We did see the buyback there from the AM Doodle. Who, where is he going though? There's the GG oh. call. IG. I mean, what can they do, John? They're, they're so no. far behind. IG kind of want to be online fast with Arming's Lifestealer. It's Trying to secure that top bounty rune. Should be able to pick it up as well. Oli, you can't run in like that. Awen, they, they didn't wait for the Burrow Strike first. Now Awen might die though. He has to Burrow Strike out. YG still going. They will manage to get those boundaries though on the side of New B. And Oli will be the first blood coming out. YG now just going to have to try and make a run for it. Although he does have another Light Strike array. Awen has another Burrow Strike as well. They might find a double kill very early on. In fact, they just need one more. No, they needed another one opening on the Life Stealer wherever he can. Meanwhile, Oli mid lane. Gonna make the jump onto the Lena. There are immediate rotations though. Astral does come out. Now a double burrow as well. Oli probably won't survive and he won't. Sanity's being dropped. Now with the fatal bonds, they're just gonna go after 
The Tempest double. It really isn't. I mean, it looked like they had everything set for that kill. Now. Oh, I mean, I mean, no. Rage is up, gets the banner room, but they're going to chase him down for sure. He will be able to TP out, though. No, Whoa. the Rage wasn't long enough. What? He hesitated. And again, it, it just kind of slips apart for IG, although they should find his kill in Gia Gia. Yeah, Black Hole being committed, you'd hope so, but no, Slider Fist, Remnant, if he's going to find what? a kill himself, and now he's backing off. In fact, he might just go back in. Double Light Striker Raid, no. now the Remnants as well. JT, he was too late on the Guardian Angel. But he might have to drop it for this defense. Yeah, certainly so. Chains will not land, though. a will jump in with the Burrow. They do have Black Hole available, and Dogfight's thinking about committing it, and he might now. He does do so. Where's that Golem? It doesn't matter. S Triple C jumps in and drops the hammer. Oli, the only one left. He goes down as well. GG up, playing with fire mid lane. He does get fluxed up. They have a lockdown, though. Oli, he can't get in range. He doesn't have the Aether Lens yet. Gia Gia, the confidence from this man, he's still going, he cops the Malefus and now he's in trouble though. Gia Gia, double Burrow Strike Ooh. and an Epicenter coming in from A when in fact it was a triple. They do get the Ember, but what does it matter? They've lost two already. Emo standing his ground with the Tempest double though, here comes the S Triple C. He'll clean up, in fact that wasn't the Tempest double, that was a real thing. They take him out, they'll take down JT as well. A two for four trade, kind of have to get something done. Unless they want to spend two hours in this game and well... <laughs> We hate Ark Warden. And Lifestealer oh. for that matter. Although S Triple C will say hello. Now Arming, Rage TB. Should be okay though. No, yes. Fenry gets the golem off. He does manage to get it off in time. Can Arming get out of this one? He's copying a lot of damage from S Triple C. They're not enough yet. Meanwhile, Gia Gia goes down to Emo. They do manage to get the Lifestealer in the end. Although that doesn't dissuade newbie. They're still going to go in. S Triple C going straight after JT. That's a dieback and dog fights. Wow. Oh my! He just got deleted. Newbie continuing to lock down the jungle of IG to ensure they really can't farm safely. GG, got to be very careful up this top lane. Ollie in position. He does break the Lincolns and gets the Hex off. The Baron Strike from Awen also misses and now Emo sends the Tempest double in. Here comes Arming as well. They will be able to get GG or maybe not. In fact, no, they do. Ollie will be the trade for it. Now the rest of Newbie trying to come in to try and find something out of this. S Triple C really wants to find that lifesteal. They even dropped the Golem for it. They thought he was in the tree line. Awen's still looking for him. He has the Baron Strike in a few seconds, but there's the Rage TP, and there's no way to cancel it without that Golem. And so they get a very nice kill onto Gia Gia, and they'll back off immediately. They'll be happy with that for at least a bit. In fact, never mind. They are going to go for a smoke on IG. Again, you still have the Black Hole BKB available. Awen, he's going to get caught out. Midnight Pulse gets dropped, but no. Might spot him out, but no, he's in the tree line. He'll be okay. They have found somebody else, though. Who's that? That's the OD. S Triple C. That's going to be his first death of the game. How do you defend this without the OD? You don't. They're trying their best. The lifesteal is starting to fall low, but not low enough. He'll just rage up and take it. And now the golem's been dropped, but is it going to be enough? They will eat the cheese on Arming. He cops a fair bit of damage, but he is out. Roshan getting fairly low, but you've got to be worried about that black hole initiation coming in from the Enigma. They will smoke up and have a look for him, but the Roshan's still dropping fairly quickly. Gia Gia jumps in a bit early though, he'll get out of there immediately. Now they do jump in the back lines, who have they got there? The Shadow Sharma, but no, the black hole! It comes out and they caught three of them, but there's the golem! They do cancel it off, although... There is the buyback from Oli. Fenrir's Golem about to drop. Who do they even aim for? It looks like Newbie just trying to get out. In fact, no, they're reinitiating, but there's a secondary black hole, but it's whiffed. Dogfights. He does end up calling Gia Gia on the tail end. Gia Gia screwing up the remnants. YG now catching the Enigma. There's the Santa and he's S Triple C though. He gets hexed up. He's in trouble and he's down. He does buy back immediately. Oli being forced to die back almost. In fact, no, Awen will be the one to maybe die back here. He does go down. There's another Santa and he's S Triple C. Buyback from the Sand King. Emo, he gets Astral up. That's the real Ark Warden. But they don't want to fight that right now. They want to go for the Life Stealer. Can they get it though? Ah, Ming actually just going to man fight by himself right now through the rage, but that's eventually going to wear off. And now they want to go after JT. But no, they found Gia Gia with the Hex. Can they take him down fast enough? They can't. The Life Stealer, of course, did die. Did lose the Aegis, but that we don't really consider that a death. And they will go back into the racks. Remnant in. 
Straight after Gia Gia, just manning up against three of them. He wants to go after that Enigma. Again, BKB being popped immediately. JT just going to TP, but it gets cancelled. It's a nice pickoff opportunity on JT. Aeon Disc will proc. Meanwhile, Gia Gia is still chasing dogfights. He really wants that Enigma. He will find him as well. They found JT on the Omni Knight. It was a weird usage of the shard as well, because he just wanted the BKB usage. In fact, they jump in straight onto that Lifestealer. Ah, Ming, he's gone. Gia, going in by himself, just dancing around them. Emo, he's going to be very careful about that. Gia, just bursting down Ollie. Ollie has no buyback available, so they're going to go for that mid racks now. Yubi, have they pushed it back? Looks like a pretty nice opportunity for them. There is a buyback available on Ah Ming. He's not the main concern though. It's really emo on that Arc Warden. You've got to worry about him. Look at all those remnants coming out. How do you push into this? They'll go down to the bot lane instead. YG, he says, screw this. I'll do it myself. But again, there will be a rotation in though. SCCC jumping in. They really want emo. They don't find him yet. He BKBs up and he's going to walk out of there. Oh no, GFG is still going, but there's the black hole. SCCC, he goes down to the Lifestealer. The golem's been dropped by Fenrir, but it was way too late. Because that Aghanim Scepter on the Enigma is a hell of a lot of damage. Awen may get caught out top lane. Yeah, they found him. Scythe device will be there from Emo. The Remnant's giving vision, and Awen has no way out of this. No buyback available for two minutes. And again, that's the Arc Warden factor. Jumping in. GG are going straight on that Enigma, doing a lot of damage in fact, but not enough yet. Sanity's being dropped at the black hole. It won't come out in time. The Laguna just finishes him off. And now SCCC refreshes, but could not get the double Sanities off. He will buy it back. GG needs to get the hell out of there. The lost YG with no buyback available. Blink out of there, and that is Mega Creeps though. Golems has been dropped. Where's the follow-up though? Fenry, he's just going to die it looks like. Well, there's a secondary golem coming out, but again, no real follow-up to it. And forces to a one-to-one, -one, and there it is. GG called by Newbie. That's really Arc Warden, in a nutshell. 60 minutes. Like, it works quite well with the Bounty Hunter. He's going to be able to snowball quite fast if they find those early kills. All by this, and he's just going to have a fine time. Mid lane. Emo actually fighting first blood. Why see? He came in. I mean, even hitting him just from the back, not even bothering just trying to loop around to the front. And Oli now going to be in trouble. Why she comes in, and well, that's going to be a very easy kill. Now, can they find the Morphling, though? Probably not. SCCC is here to help out. They will try to get the Morphling in the end, but he still is going to be able to wait for him out. And now Emo wants to turn it around. He does a lot of damage to a but not quite enough yet. In fact, never mind, he does. A double kill coming out for the Storm already. IG. Do you think they're doing enough quite yet? I mean, it's 2-6 to six now, 3k net worth lead. How much more do you feel like they need to do? In fact, hold that thought, because Jar Jar now might be in trouble. Does have the song available, just in case, though. I thought they may throw the black hole out. They did not. JT held on for quite a while. Though, look at Emo just zipping all the way in. The shrine has been popped, but Oli found the shackles. And with that, they're going to be able to set up for a track kill. Emo will not be the one to pick it up. It will actually be dogfights. It looks like IG plan to get aggressive once again. Straight into that Radiant Jungle, though. There are three heroes and they're ready for this. SCCC pops the drums, wants to go for it. Again, straight onto that Bounty Hunter dogfights. Just burst that man down before the tracks come out. Now a three-man Earth Spike, but the Morphling's in there. They've taken down two now. Golem being dropped just to make sure. SCCC can't get out of there. They found the Warlock as well. Fenry probably going to fall down to Emo. They found A1 on the Bristleback, and that's a four-man wipe. And they haven't really, they don't have a scan to expend. There are things out. coming out though. They, they've smoked up themselves. They might make it in time, in fact. If Awen can just drop long enough with the Bristleback, he's going to run straight in with the BKB. The Roshan's still not low enough to take down. They're going to leave it. Oli, he's in trouble. Three remnants, SCCC cleaning up. Dogfights, he'll survive. JT throws out the black hole, but the song's there. It cancelled off immediately, and they're going to take the Roshan off the side of IG. Yoink from Jar Jar, although he might end up losing it immediately. They, in fact, he will. Ah, Ming does find the kill. SCCC still finding kills, but does end up dying to Emo. Now they want to punish for this Roshan steal. Emo jumps in, but doesn't have much mana. The Golem finally being dropped from the side of Newbie. Now they're copying way too much with those Fader Bonds. Emo, he goes down. Now can they get the Morphling? They will lose Jar Jar on the, on the Naga Siren, so he's dead. Awen, he might end up falling as well, and he does. JT... 
Kind of walks back in. YC, Finger of Death will not be enough, but Fenrir's Golem is there. They'll find the Enigma at least. Another <laughs> track kill. Oh, a CCC. Well, he's getting dumped on. Emo found him. They have the silence as well, and he goes down. Another track kill going to Ah Ming. They're going for more. Jar Jar, he really doesn't want to get caught out like this. He will mount up, but look at Emo zip right in. Silence is there with the Spirit Vessel. Golden Drop will not mean anything, and Fenrir, he gets caught as well. Another track going to the way of Ah Ming. He will have to expend it, it looks like. Serpent wants to get dropped, and there's the buyback coming out from Awen. Song to set up, but what are you setting up with? There is a Golden Drop, there's Fatal Bonds as well, but it's got to be all perfect. They are gonna, well, they're not gonna drop anything quite yet. Emo just jumped in straight into the back lines and YC's gone. Now A1 will be the target. A dieback on the Bristle would be pretty darn nice. Although Bristle is gonna fight back. Earth Spike is there on the bounty. Now the black hole. He caught two of them. It's bloody perfect. And there's the GG call. SCCC doesn't even wait for the black hole to end. As soon as you see it, you know it's over. The Sprout's not gonna do anything. Uh... Morphling, Ember, and Batrider all have easy ways of getting out of that. Even dogfights on the Pango can just swashbuckle out of that. Should be able to get away. Very close. YC, he may have overextended though. He will end up going down. It will not be a first blood. The gold was split. Kind of having a decent enough time in this lane as well. Emo, mid lane, goes on SCCC, does find him, but the Baron Strike is there from YC. He does not have a remnant out. There's SCCC, just not bothering around that area anymore, although there will be rotations coming in. S Triple C gonna jump in. Emo not expecting it though. No, he does. Slide of fist dodge into the remnant out. Well, smoke up though from IG. Oh, Jar Jar doesn't want to get caught out like this, but he might have no choice. Though, there is a nice stun coming out. IG maybe in a bit of trouble though. Rolling Thunder does come off. S Triple C goes straight after Ollie. They have taken down the Sven. They'll get Fenry as well. Dogfights, he barely managed to get out of there. S Triple C wants to go back in, but has no mana. Why she gets caught out. He's probably going to die, and he does. A double kill coming out from Emo. Now they found S Triple C as well. He's got no mana to get out of this one. He goes down, and that's a four man wipe. He stun on as well, and arming in a spot of trouble. They have Fiend's Grip. Fenrir should be able to get this very easily, and he does use it immediately. You do have the follow-up Baron Strike, though the Strength Morph is there. Epi Svenna and the Spirit Vessel being thrown out, but here comes Emo trying to help. Is it enough? In fact, it might be. He gets out just barely for the moment. They have Ollie there now as well. The Curse, he hasn't used it yet. The Cleave, Jar Jar, he finds two of them. Can he find Emo? No, he cannot. The Remnant out will be there. Him and SCCC trying to get out of this situation. Emo gonna spot him out though. Chains do come out. Let's get the stun off. JT doesn't have lasso. Now SCCC jumps back in. A win TPs. They'll find one. Emo's still by himself right now. He needs his team. Dogfights comes in. Rolling Thunder goes out as well. They're gonna go after that Storm Spirit first. They don't burst him down quite yet, but he does go down. Now the Winter's Curse Ollie. He's setting up for the next couple kills. Chains come off again. A lot of damage going out onto that Sven, but Jar Jar still surviving. Now the epicenter borrow from YC, but the gold embrace is there. SCCC, he'll buy back. He'll find the kill. He'll go after Ollie next, and it looks like Ollie is just a sitting duck. He will end up going down. Meanwhile, Dogfights wants to get the hell out of there as well, but Fenry and Awin are making the chase, and well, it actually won't be a kill. They might check it first. They do. They are a bit early, but... If they can find a pick off, S Triple C would be massive and they get the lasso. But YC, what kind of reaction is that with the Burrow Strike? He saves the day for the moment. Cold Embrace will be there on the Sven though. Excuse me, Winter's Curse will be there and now they will finish off S Triple C. Jar Jar trying to man fight the Morphling. They will go for YC instead, although no, he gets out just in the nick of time. They'll get the chains off on the Sven. Emo wants to chase. This Jar Jar Sven, and it looks like he will be able to. Stormhammer comes out of Ah Ming. They should be able to finish him off and they do. Yeah, I think that's a fair enough move to make again. Ooh, Epicenter, Burrow Strike onto two heroes. It's a lot of damage coming out. Dogfights need to get out of there. There was a buyback from Jar Jar, and he jumps in. He cleans up Dogfights. Now, Ah Ming, what does he do? He needs to get the hell out, though. No, he'll man fight. Emo comes in. Look at the damage he's dealing as well. They can't afford this dieback on the Sven right now. Jar Jar just trying to get the hell out of there, but they're holding him down, and they will fight. In fact, no, not quite yet. A double stun comes out. They'll allow the Sven to get out of there. Somehow, he does does manage to survive. They'll lose their JT on the Batrider. Perhaps not expecting this. Oh, Jaja. Mid lane. 
They get caught out, they spot him out, Emo jumps in with the chains and now the lasso, but he got the BKB off. Will he survive the damage though? The rest of the team comes in YC, again a clutch Baron strike, Winter's Curse is there, SCCC, he kinda zips into it though. Can he get the job done, Jar Jar, he's gonna die back and he does. They gave the Aegis to the Storm Spirit and there it goes as well. That is not great news. Awen gonna get caught out by this Morphling SCCC, who's he going for? He's chasing Emo, Epicenter comes out of YC but it doesn't do enough damage. Now they've got the Storm in the stun. SCCC still chasing for Emo though, Emo is still alive. The Cold Embrace, he will end up going down at the end but they've lost SCCC. No buyback available on the Storm. Emo, gonna jump in, but Awen has backup, it's a bit of a bait here from the side of Newbie, but when are they gonna jump in? It's not quite yet, Dogfights jumps in with his own Aghanim Scepter now, Swashbuckle's going everywhere, and Newbie really holding out here. They do jump in finally now, Jia Jia, he will go in straight on that Pangolier. Dogfights will be alright for the moment, SCCC though, he does find Ollie, so no Winter's Curse available. Now they'll go after the Morphling, but he morphs into the Sand King and Baron Strikes out. They have found A1 once again, more Swashbuckles jumping through everything. Ollie will buy back, can they actually get this, this Nature's Prophet? It looks like they will be able to in the end. Well, 78% chance on Dota Plus right now for IG, SCCC, zips in, zips out. Baron Strike, YC, he gets caught out, Lasso is there, now he doesn't have buyback for a few seconds and he doesn't have the gold for it either, he will survive for the moment, Yules will keep him alive, now the Ghost Scepter as well, YC, he'll Baron Strike out, it won't be enough, meanwhile on the back lines, they're going after dogfights, they'll commit the Fiend's Rip for this Pangolier, though can they find him, Emo, he'll jump in, he wants his team fight, Fenrir, probably gonna go down and does, now Jar Jar, he's out of BKB, he can't use it anymore though, he'll turn around, what a massive swing of that sword, 1.3 3k crit, it won't be enough though, he'll buy back, now SCCC zips back in trying to find somebody with low HP, though he ran out of mana, the Baron Strike will be there, the chains, they're not there from Emo quite yet, Stormhammer, we'll find the Morphling, Remnant in now Emo, we'll get the chains off on A1, but they are falling very low on IG, they may be forced to back out, but they do still have the Aegis, they'll get another chains off on A1. He'll dispel it with the Lotus Orb, but now SCCC jumping in once again. Not really finding too much quite yet, in fact he is dead. SCCC does have buyback though. He'll get back into this team fight very soon I'm sure. They are going after the Sven, however SCCC again to throwing remnants out here and there. They want that Sven so bad. If they get the dieback, the game's pretty much over and Jar Jar, really no choice in the matter. He does die back. SCCC, the last man standing for his team. He's gonna try and fight Emo. He'll take him out. Can they get the Morphling? There's the Lasso, but they catch JT with it. The Lotus Orb, keep him alive, but no, the dieback is there on the Storm. I think that's GG. Well play, John. Awen, he's trying to survive this. He's underneath his own T4 towers, but it won't matter. In fact, he's gonna man fight the Morphling now. But again, he will go down. There's no way to defend this, you only have the Bane and the tap out. IG with an impressive turnaround from games 2 to 4. And they do manage to clean out this tournament once again from the lower bracket into the grand finals, Mike.